It says full screen on, it's going to ruin the problem. Okay, so we analyzed this landline phone. Uh, this is the same model that I still have one of in use in my home, because I'm hip like that. Um, um, so here we have uh, pictures of the phone during disassembly, and here we have a digital picture of all our components as required. All of our components in a digital picture. Um, so among the pieces you can see, here's the um, phone base. This is a little piezo uh, electric buzzer that does the um, ringing. Uh, we have the various jacks that connect it. Uh, this is the little button that the plunger pushes down when you hang up the phone to hang up the phone. Um, we've got the circuit boards from the top and the bottom of the phone, the handset and the base, that is. Um, here are the buttons. Uh, this circuit board on the other side is this, which has its various places for the buttons to press into to activate the circuits of the board to dial numbers. Um, we also have our buttons, buzzers, uh, speaker, and microphone. Uh, these are all the part sketches. Uh, we just did rough sketches because we thought we only needed like detailed ones for detailed rough sketches. The rough sketches uh, have guess. detail. I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all little tiny components, but the parts we specialized in are very uh, detailed. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you can see we have the um, various associations marked out here in arrows. So, um, like this button pad connected to the buttons, which went into the uh, button cover. There is a weight, just sort of in the phone, just a solid metal weight, completely inexplicable. <laughs> Still weight. And the manufacturing, uh, with the base covers and most of the plastic pieces, they had injection molding. Uh, and then there's this touchstone pad that had rubber, and it felt like silicone a little bit, and we, and they, they probably used rubber injection for that. And inside the base, uh, there's a lot of soldering. And, uh, they soldered the wires together and all the circuits. Um, so the recycling, the electrical components are recyclable as electrical components. Um, plastic components could be remolded and reused. Uh, screws can obviously be reused, but typically aren't fully recycled. Um, and the foam and rubber components uh, are harder to recycle and most likely end up in the landfill. So the base cover, uh, the volume was 97.5 cubic centimeters. A mass of 85.1 grams. It was pretty accurate. We I used a uh, a overflow test to to ballpark the volume, and it was pretty close. Um, density was very similar to what Inventor calculated too, and it was PC slash ABS plastic. Um, uh, it was not magnetic or, and it was all plastic, so. Uh, and it doesn't scratch easily. The surface area, uh, I calculated using like length times the width or something like that. Uh, and it didn't easily deform. And, and as an interaction, it acted as a resting plate for the phone and it protected all the components inside the base. Uh, it also held the plunger, or plunger. And it was held within like two screws, but they are stripped, so I had to break that apart. And, uh, Part sketch, and this was the component by itself, and that's the multi Um My component was the plunger, the clear piece that pushes down when you hang up the phone. It essentially cuts off almost all the phone circuits. Um, it was plastic, so it's not continuous. It doesn't. It's not magnetic. Uh, it scratches easily. It's made out of. Uh, I guessed uh, PET plastic because it was clear, hard, and non-flexible. Um, its mass, um, I properties gave 4 grams, our actual mass was 2.5. The volume, I believe, was, or the, yeah, the actual mass was 2.5. The volume, I believe, was somewhat miscalculated, but hey. Um, 
using the same uh, method because it's just a little bit too wide to fit into any of the graduated cylinders, so we have to use the overflow, and that's inaccurate with such small values, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, our density uh, surface area, the hand flexure test, it did not permanently deform. Uh, in its interactions, it was held by the base cover, and it compresses a switch in the base circuit board to close the front circuit. So here's the part, the model, actual part, sketch. Uh, with, with dimensions, you will see visible dimensions. Just going to raise that point. I, I did that. Good. And that's our uh, presentation. Any questions? Yeah. You put it together, will your phone still work? You Probably not. Probably not, because we pulled some bits and bytes off of the electronics board. All right, nice job.